Hey guys, backyard scrapping here. Um, excuse the noisy air conditioner, but it's blazing hot outside. So anyway, um, I have had this for a couple of months, a um, month and a half or whatever. I haven't opened it. This is actually our next job refine. Um, this will be for JJ. Um, so let's go ahead and cut this booger open and see what we got going on, and then we'll get outside and get to working on it. Those are actually my mom's uh, nursing scissors from 1968. <laughs> I've had them all those years. Okay. What do we have here? This. Here. Now here we actually have, I'm going to go through these, I'm not going to make the same mistake because I already see, although this looks mostly like RAM, I already see some LCD board cutoffs in here, so we are going to separate those out. Um, I'm sure that's the information. Okay, guys. Basically, this is uh, this stuff is from New Prepper, um, so we are going to do his refine. I'm not going to read the letter completely. In fact, I'm not going to read any of it because, other than the fact he says we can make a video and we use his name, New Prepper. Okay, so I was going to say JJ, but he doesn't mind, so New Prepper is good. We can do that. Um, everything else in here I have to keep confidential. Uh, this is actually just info on returning the material. Um, so I'm going to put that down here. And like I said, when I opened the bag, I saw that this does have some things in it. So I am going to sort through this and pick out all of the... Uh, LCD fingers that aren't really fingers. I believe this is BGA chips, if I'm correct. I think he was sending BGA tops. So, let me make sure that that's what this is. sent the bottoms. He sent the bottoms, well I guess because some of them are stuck. So I'll have to sort through those too, um, but it was just supposed to be BGA tops. Uh, but like I said, anyway, I'll sort through these and uh, we'll get outside and we'll get to work on this. So we'll be back at you when I get this all sorted out and show you what we have. Okay guys, I've got the chips all separated out. He actually sent the backs too and this is kind of, it's not that these bats don't have gold on them, and it's not that they're not worth saving. But the problem with the bats are, is there's not enough gold on them to warrant the chase for a split. If you have AP or something, or you have done some ram fingers, or you want to throw these in some old AP and let them sit for several months, yeah, you know, and get the foils off of them, that's fine. That's a different story. But for me to do that, there's not enough gold there for the time and effort that's going to be put into it. So these basically are wasted postage. Okay, these are going to have to go back. Now, here, here's his caps. I could see that he was obviously having some problems um, taking some of these off. So briefly, real quick, I'm going to show you. You can see these are broken. All right, so he didn't get it all off. This was all the metal caps there were, so that's great. Uh, but anyway, this is a real simple thing to do, okay? Just bust those corners down, get your knife blade under there like that, and just make it go around. And when you get to a certain point, you can pop it, you see, and that'll come right off. So I don't know exactly how he was trying to do this, um, but I can see that, you know, these chips are broken, and I'm not, I didn't have no, but if you don't know that, you know, if somebody hasn't shown you how to do this, then obviously you're going to have problems. But you see how easy that was? See, and that was broken. And that, 
And that does look good, but it's just not worth the chase if you're having to split it with somebody. You know? Uh, same thing. See how easy that was? That was a half a chip left on there. This is about three quarters of a chip. So you just bust those corners over so you can get your blade started under it. Pop them off. That one was actually a little bit of a bear, but it still popped right off. So you, and these are a whole chip that were left in here. I'm just going to show you the same thing. Just break the corners over so that you can get under it a little bit, and then just roll your blade around. When you get to a certain point, you can just turn your blade, and they'll pop right off. So I'm just showing that because I can tell by the looks of some of these that I don't think anyone has ever shown new prepper how to do this. So that's how you do it. I mean, it's not really that hard. I mean, it takes time, and that's the, that's the reason I don't want them sent to me whole. I don't want these sent like this whole. There's only a few in here because that's an added, if I had to do that, you know, that adds an hour, two hours to my time that I'm already going to have a ton of time in. So, we got these, these were the only metal caps that I could see, or that had have the copper uh, heat sinks on top of them, so that's good. Majority of our of our BGAs are actually all solid. Uh, there's a couple little, just little BGAs in here that are going to go back, uh, but in a minute I'll weigh that up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this bag of RAM. Uh, so we've got our backs, this is going to go back in this bag and be returned. This and this will be processed. I'm going to go through this bag and I'm going to pull out all of the LCD looking fingers. I'm going to pull everything out of here that's not a true finger. So, no point in making you watch that. When I get done, I'll show you what we ended up with. I'll be right back at you. Okay, guys. Um, once again, I'm going to explain something about what to send and what not to send. And in fact, um, I'm actually going to put a link up here to the revised, um, where I said the revised uh, material, computer material that I will take, because I actually had to delete another and block another person from being an ass, and I hope you're watching now because you can't do or say anything about it, um, because you were an ass. Uh, but in any case, the person actually called me lazy because I'm not going to take pins anymore, I'm just going to take foils, you know, and making comments that I just don't want to do the work and this and that. Well, to that person I say, in one day, I've probably done more work than you've ever done your whole life. But, neither here nor there. I'm going to explain this, and I'm going to explain why. See, what dummies like him don't get is, yeah, you see all this? Every bit of this is all processable together, okay? If this was all my stuff and belonged to me, I could dump this all together and process it, and it wouldn't matter, okay? But it doesn't. I only get a percentage of a job refined, okay? And the percentage that I get, actually, at the very, very end, doesn't even remotely come close to uh, covering my time, which is why I call this a hobby. And... In actuality, by the time it, my materials I pay for my, I get 10 to 12 and a half percent of whatever the yield is. Now I'm going to explain this to you. All right, this bag contained all of this stuff right here. Okay, this is basically three different types of material. This is the material that is acceptable. All right, this is RAM and RAM light fingers. You know, uh, fingerboard fingers, stuff like that. Wi-Fi card fingers. All right. And why I'm going to explain the difference right now is what what some of these people don't understand about this material. This is actually good stuff too. I'll get to it in a minute. But what they don't understand about this material is you see these little tiny bits and pieces. All right, I'm going to have to go through this at the end and make sure the gold is off of it. You see that? You know how long that's going to take to go through these little bits and pieces? And a lot of it's going to be uh, flash gold. That may actually yield a foil. Uh, a couple pieces in here may actually yield a foil. But look at each one of these little pieces 
it's bad enough I got to go through each one of these. Now you're talking about going through each one of these little dots because once I do something, I'm not leaving the goal behind. I'm going to go after it. That's why I don't do this material. First of all, it takes me more time than I ever get paid for anyway to do this stuff. I said it before in a lot of my videos, I do it for the metal. This is my hobby. But I'm also not going to make it hard on myself or any harder than it needs to be. So that's why I'm not going to take the bits and pieces. If you want to take your bits and pieces and throw them in a little bit of acid and peroxide and put them behind your shed, like I said, for a couple months, let the stuff come off of them, filter it out, and send me the filter paper, we'll be more than happy to do it. Now we're going to move on to these LCD boards. Okay? A lot of work, I'm telling you, in this little container, in this little tub right here, there is hours of work. He spent hours, New Prepper spent hours trimming this out, getting rid of the lead, uh, just, you know, getting the clean boards and doing hours and hours were spent on this. The problem is it only yields 1 20th of what these are going to yield. Now, that brings us back to the fact of I'm using my acid and my time to end up with what is not a profit because I'm not going to get paid for my time. So there's actually no profit. But I'm using my materials to extract the gold from this to get anywhere clear, anywhere from 10 to 12 and a half percent of the gold. Okay? This is going to yield, this is worth it. It's absolutely worth it for me to do this. Okay? I'm just going to say that these weigh exactly the same. Okay, the weight of these boards is exactly the same. It's not, but I'm going to say it is. It's almost going to take me, in fact, not almost, it's going to take me more acid to get the gold off of this stuff than it is this stuff. Okay? There's just as much copper in here, there's just as much whatever that has to be dissolved to release this gold as has to be to release this gold. But this is going to give me 20 times the yield. Now why do I want to waste a gallon of acid on this to get 10% of a tenth of a gram of gold? See, that's what people don't get. You know, they say lazy, they say you don't want to do this, they say, you know, that, or, you know, I just throw it in all together. Hey, if this was mine and I was getting to keep 100% of the recovery, absolutely. Same thing with these. There's nothing wrong with these, if they're yours, but they're not mine, and it's not worth the acid it's going to cost me to go after this little bit of flash plating to end up with 10 to 12 and a half percent of the gold yield. You know, you got to remember, it doesn't matter, even though I'm getting 25 percent, half of that or more is going to cover my acids and stuff. I mean, you know, it just, it just doesn't add up, and that's what I'm trying to say. When I say I'm not, it's not worth it for me to do it, it doesn't mean it's not worth it to do. Or these. Cut these out and sell them on eBay. You probably get more money for these on eBay than is even close to the amount of gold that's in them. Especially if you're going to do them neat as he did and as clean as he did. I mean, that's beautiful. And that took hours to do that. You know, LCD boards, you got to cut all the crap off of them. I mean, and, I, and, I, and it's... It's, it just doesn't pay for me to do it. And even this, this looks like foils. It's not foils. It's smooth. It's not foils. Okay? That's what I'm trying to explain to, to everybody. This stuff, yes, this is actually good stuff. These printer thing, ribbons and ribbon ends, this is high yield stuff by weight. All right? But again, it's a separate process. I had to remove that from this. Now, had I just left this all together and throw it in there, it would have taken me two to three to four hours longer to clean this up once it was done. In other words, once the foils have been removed. I'm, like, I'm not already not get pay, getting paid for my time. Okay? And to those people like that jerk, if you don't want to send it to me, don't send it to me. I don't care. Okay? I'm, I do this as a hobby for the metal, for the gold. It is obvious. I had oh, a month, a month in the last job refine that we just did, the three, the, the mixed job refine videos, those three videos, there's a month's worth of time tied up in that video. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. My clear end of that was $100. 
100 bucks. So, to the people that say I'm lazy or to the people that don't get it, are you going to spend a month of your time to make 100 bucks? Now call me crazy because I'm doing it. No, it's my hobby. Just as it is this person's hobby, New Prepper's hobby, to collect all this material. You think he's going to get paid? You think there's going to be enough gold here to pay for the months that he has tied up in this? No, there's not. That's why it's a hobby. But at least it's a hobby that returns a little something. I'm not picking on golfers, but I know people that go pay $150 to whack a golf ball around a field in the middle of August and, and you know, end up with a heat stroke. You know, they're paying to do their hobby. At least our hobby, we get a little something back. But that's the point I'm trying to make about this. It's not that it's not worth saving. It's not that it's not worth keeping. It's not that these are... It's not worth it for me to do it to only end up with 10% of the metal at the end of the day. This is going to yield enough. And it's going to take less acid than these. These take more acid to get the gold off of them. Believe me, I know. I've been doing this for a while. So, anyway, we're all separated out. This material, this material, and this material are going to be returned. This is why, another reason, if you're going to send something, you want to know what to send. Because this all costs money. There's half of the weight of what we're going to do right here is going back because it's not processable, feasible. It's not feasible for me to process this, so it's got to go back. This I'm actually going to send back to him in a little, uh, another little bag because this is good stuff. But the way I process this is different from the way I process this. So you get a couple three ounces of this. I didn't even weigh it. There's probably a few grams here. But if you end up with a couple three ounces of these ribbon cutoffs, man, you're going to have a nice bit of gold return. So I'm just going to send that back to him simply because he needs to just keep building up just this stuff and then send it when you get a nice little sandwich baggie full of it and you'll get some gold back. So we only ended up with a few of these. Uh, I'm actually going to take a break because my back's hurting a little bit from being bent over separating this. Uh, then we'll come back and do a weigh-in and then we will uh, get ready to start processing this material. So we'll be back at you in just a second. Okay guys, we're going to do our weigh-in. Scale over here right quick. Whoops. Oh, it's so hard to find a flat spot. Okay, we need to get over to Graham's. Alright, so BGA tips. And this is BGA's with heat sinks. only 18.24 grams of those, so that's good. Because actually by weight they're going to yield much worse than these. So get another little tub out here real quick. This is our regular BGA tops. Bit more of that, and we have 127.49 grams of those, so that's pretty good. That should yield a nice little piece of gold. This is our ram and ram like fingers. That. Three hundred and seventy-five point eighty-one grams. Three hundred seventy-five point eighty. Three seventy-five point eighty of gram and mixed fingers. Alrighty, so we have done our weigh-in. This is the material we're going to process. The other material that I showed you in those other containers is actually going to be packaged up and returned. Um, so next thing is we're going to get outside and get started on this and uh, see what we end up with. 
So guys, I'm probably going to call this video right here, and uh, we'll get back at you when we get outside in the next video and start processing this material. So we will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.